Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of counting money. This is standard 3.4c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31 of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple money problem. We have uh, Dana using the money shown to buy a snack. And then we just need to identify the amount of money that Dana spent on the snack. So as you can tell by all of our answer selections, they are all going to have at least $1. And that's a, a $1 bill. And that's the new thing in third grade. You're counting bills and coins. In second and first grade, you're just counting coins, though counting bills are not that difficult here. So all of these are going to be $1. Really, what we're just left with is this stack of four coins. And so that's what third graders are, are looking at here. Can they identify the value of each of these coins? We have the heads of each of these coins. And this first one is a quarter. I'm just going to put a Q right on top of it. That's worth 25 cents. And this next one is a nickel. I'll put an N right there. That's worth five cents. And then these two with Lincoln looking off to the side, these are pennies. They're each worth one cent. Now, what we typically do is we start with our largest value. So we're going to start with 25. And then we're going to skip count by the next value. We don't have any dimes here, but we do have a nickel. So when we skip count by fives, we're going to say 25 goes up to 30. And then we're going to skip count by ones because that's what's left is our nickel. So we've got 31. And then we've got 32. So 25, 30, 31, and 32. So our answer here is going to be $1.32. That's pretty simple. But let's see how they get each of these incorrect answers. You see this $1.37. Well, the way we get $1.37 is if we take this nickel right here, and either we think it's a dime or we just miscalculate the value. But if you say for some reason that this nickel is worth 10 cents, or we just think it's a dime and it's worth 10 cents, well, now we can skip count 25. Skip count by 10 is going to get you 35. And then we're going to get 36. And then we're going to get 37. And so that's how we get A, is this incorrect uh, value of that nickel. Now, how do we get C? Well, C keeps this nickel as being five cents, but it assumes that both of these pennies are misvalued at five cents as well. They are similar in size, so the nickels are larger, but let's just say you wanted to, you know the quarter, that's the biggest one, that's your 25 cents, but you just think everything else is five, so we're just going to skip count by fives, and we're going to get 30. And then we're going to get 35. And then we're going to get 40. So that's how this incorrect answer came about, is by thinking both of these pennies are worth 5 cents, including the nickel, also worth 5 cents. And you just go 25, 30, 35, 40. So that is C. That is also incorrect. Now, D is kind of an interesting one. Because how we get 127 is kind of interesting. Uh, there's a few different ways we can do this, but one way would be uh, if for some reason we just didn't know what a quarter was worth. Let's say for some reason the quarter was worth 20 and we knew everything else. So we're starting at 20 rather than 25. And we can count our nickels, so we're going to say that's 25. And then we're going to say 26 and 27 for each Penny. That would be one way to do it. But that is incorrect, and our answer is going to be B, $1.32.